2 Corinthians chapter 6, scroll down with me. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? Remember that. And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk with them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Scroll. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. What's the implication there? Well, if you're touching the unclean thing, you're probably not going to be received. No, not probably. You won't be received. And will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Remember this, very important, for what I'm going to show you today. The book of James, chapter 4. Ye adulterers and adulterers, know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore shall be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Look what it says in verse 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Uh, so today I'm going to be looking at a video by Rene Roland, hands down the biggest, one of the biggest butchers of Holy Scripture on YouTube. Uh, she truly is a Jezebel in every sense of the word. If you watch this video, I will prove to you that not only is she a, a biblical illiterate, but she actually will have her followers worshiping Satan. I'll prove it to you. Watch till the end of this video as we examine this and tear it apart. So here we go. All right, so here's the video I'm going to be examining today. Let's read the title if we can. Christians and alcohol movies and music stop being so fearful and religious. So right out of the gate, uh, clear grammatical errors and just all around English comprehension problems. That should be a red flag. Quite a few views, almost 13,000 views. Uh, here we go. Let's give it a listen. Morning, you guys. Ugh, looking rough this morning. Um, okay, no argument there. Let's jump ahead. She's going to introduce her cats. We don't need to meet her cats. Let's come about right here and we will go. I digress. Th this video is just about giving you some perspective on how not to be a religious like nut. We don't need perspective. We need the truth in doctrine. Okay, we don't need your perspective. Okay, uh, the difference, uh, Christianity is a faith. It's not a religion. It's not a set of rules that you follow. It's a faith. It's believing on the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. That's the gospel. The gospel is God's good news of his son and how his son redeemed us to him. You know, he paid the price for us, for all of our sins. Uh, and... Uh, all of the instructions I've said before that Paul gives us are to already save people. So there's no point in telling an unsaved person to turn from their sins because it's not going to. Did you hear that, Satanist? There's no point in telling an unsaved person to turn from their sins. By the way, the instruction that she's talking about, Holy Scripture, uh, yes, these are the epistles written to churches and, and saved people. But Scripture is also used when witnessing to people who are not yet saved. It's the power of the Holy Spirit uh, in the form of truth being witnessed to them, especially turn from your sins and come to the love and the salvation of Jesus Christ. She just negated that. She just canceled that. There's no point, she says, in telling an unsaved person to turn from their sins. This is madness. This is being taught in the end time. This is 2 Timothy 4.3, like I've never seen it. And people revere this sausage as a Bible scholar. It's incredible. I'm going to save them. Let them go ahead and live like a heathen, because that doesn't save them. we got to get them saved, and then we worry about adjusting behavior, because the Spirit will be in them, and he'll tell them you know, what's right and wrong. Now, now she's talking about the Spirit being in them one of the things that you're going to find out as you watch through the rest of this video is is the holy spirit in this in this woman because she's basically 
saying that her brand, her doctrine, uh, puts the Holy Spirit in somebody. She says it. We've, we've got to worry about getting them saved, which she doesn't address that, but she does say that uh, once the Spirit is in them, uh, you're going to have to determine, is the Holy Spirit in this woman? Stay tuned to the end because it's going to get shocking. Hearing a lot of external information about, oh, this music's bad and this movie's bad. I just go by my gut. There's some movies like... Did you hear that? What an absolute dingbat. I just go by my gut. But that's par for the course with end times Satanists pretending uh, to be Christian. In 2 Corinthians, we're in chapter 11, this set of verses, I have found nobody that fits this better than Rene Rowland. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of life. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. This is Rene Rowland. Absolutely. I've, I've never seen anybody on YouTube that fits this uh, more than her. Like when people are being harmed in them and they're tortured and horror. It's like, I don't do that because God doesn't give us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and sound mind. So I don't feed. Any Ugh, I'm sorry. You had to see that. All right. Pause the video. Go to your laundry room. Get the uh, jug of bleach. Empty that jug into your eyes. Rinse and then come back. We'll pick it up. Anything that gives me a spirit of fear. I just don't. Yeah, um, listen to that again. And anything that gives me a spirit. It's like, I don't do that. Because God doesn't give us a spirit of fear. But a power of love and sound mind. So I don't feed anything that gives me a spirit of fear. How about just not letting it in? See, her flawed logic says, uh, let it in, but just don't feed it. Don't feed it. Don't feed the spirit of fear. How about just not letting it in in the first place, right? Wouldn't that make more sense? But because these once saved, always saved wing nuts uh, teach things like, well, Jesus did it all on the cross, so you can live however you want. Um, that's what she means. You can live however you want. Watch any movie you want to do. Uh, apparently, again, according to her, if it gets too bloody and gushy and gutsy, she won't watch it. But as long as you don't feed the fear, it's okay to let it in. Amazing. People revere this woman. I just don't. Um, and, you know, as far as music, you know, everybody's like gotten, people are just getting really kooky about this. What you eat, what you don't eat, which, which day to worship, what, you know, it's just rules and rules and fear and condemnation. So I want to tell you that basically anything that's not of faith is sin. Anything that's done with your own conscience against it is sinful. If your own conscience is telling you, and here's the thing, a lot of people try to put their conscience on me. Okay, let's back that up. I want to point something out to you here. Uh, let me come right to about there. It's sinful. If your own Almost. conscience, anything that's not of faith is sin. Okay, so that's, I actually wouldn't disagree with her on this. The problem is, or I, I should say, a point to consider is, where is your faith? Now, if, if your faith was built from the Word of God, you would agree with God and completely disagree with the Satanist. But when Jezebels in the end times come up and they build a false faith based on their gut feeling and YouTube teachings, then your faith, what could be loosely called as your faith, really isn't gonna, is not going to condemn you uh, for committing or practicing sin. And that's where these teachings come in because the faith that she's building, which really isn't faith, allows sin. Do you understand what I'm saying? If, you, if your faith is based on the Holy Scripture, you wouldn't allow sin. You wouldn't let it in. But Sausage Lady here lets it all in and teaches you to let it all in. As long as your conscience is okay with it. Anything that's done with your own conscience against it, is sinful. If your own conscience is telling you, and here's the thing, a lot of people try to put their conscience on me. Okay, understand the difference. The people with biblical faith are coming against her and she doesn't like that. But she's just repackaged it to say, 
Well, they're putting their conscience on. No, they're chastising you and rebuking you because you're a filthy Satanist. And you're teaching an unbiblical faith, a faith that doesn't save. It's a fake faith. It's a faith in yourself, which, by the way, uh, you've issued a license for these people to live how they will, however they want, do what thou wilt. It's an Aleister Crowley doctrine that she teaches. Work it out. I mean, you, you can listen to this again and uh, see if what I'm saying is absolutely true. It really depends on where your faith is. If, if you have a fake faith, it's not going to condemn you. It's going to allow you to just live like the world. All right, so I'm going to pause this right here as she attempts to get into, I believe, Romans 14, and she'll butcher that. What I'm really going to do is get to the meat and potatoes uh, to prove that this woman is an outright filthy Satanist. And so here we go. Well, hold on a second. I got to back up. There's a couple of things I want to get in here for when we form our list. So let's listen. You know, I mean, after living in Hollywood all those years, you know, and I got a new contract now. And I'm, to be honest, I, I'm not doing anything to kind of make it move forward. I'm okay. So for those of you that don't know, Renee Roland, I believe, and I could be wrong, either a, a producer in Hollywood. She actually produces movie movies in Hollywood, the absolute toilet of Satan. And she still does. So that's important to remember that. All right, so now she's, uh, I wanted to back up and play this. She's going to get into uh, attempting to, to teach scripture. So let's hear what she says. Anyway, I'm going to give you some verses here and just supplement um, the word meat for whatever physical thing is bugging you. Music, um, movies, whatever, and just substitute it, okay? So she's about to read a scripture from Romans 14, and she's telling you to substitute words in Holy Scripture. And this is where she gets into deceptive butchery of an epic magnitude, as though we could pull out words and substitute different words. Even with what she's trying to do, having no comprehension what Romans 14 even means. It has everything to do with eating food that was sacrificed to idols. But she wants you to supplement or substitute words uh, depending on what your vice or your worry or your sin is. It's butchery and just biblical illiteracy on, on a new level. But under no circumstance should you ever substitute words. But here we go. She's doing exactly that. All right, so now we're going to get into what you've been waiting for. This is where Renee's going to start talking about music. So let's listen. I don't see why this should be a problem. It's the same thing with music. There's certain music that's overtly satanic. You know? Okay, she's talking about overtly satanic music compared to what? Moderately? Satanic music? That's what she's saying. I'm crying out to the devil overtly. I don't listen to it. So crying out to the devil moderately is okay? Just when it gets overt crying out to the devil, then that's when she doesn't listen to it. I like rock and roll. I'm a metalhead. I've been that way I'm overtly. I don't listen to it. But I like rock and roll. I'm a metalhead. I've been that way. Now, remember earlier in the video we talked, or I posed the question to you. Do you think the Holy Spirit is in this? thing. She just confesses that she's a metalhead, that she likes rock and roll. Let's listen to that again. Overtly satanic, you know, crying out to the devil. Overtly. I don't listen to it. But I like rock and roll. I'm a metalhead. I've been that way. Now notice the tone too. She's like, hey guys, what's wrong with it? I, you know, there's nothing wrong. I like rock and roll. It's just music. I like it. Hey, Mikey, that seems all innocent, right? This is Renee issuing license. She's issuing you like, I like it and you should too. Notice the voice change. There's nothing wrong with it. Hey, I know all those guys in the, in the heavy metal scene. I've, I've done it since I was in my late teens. I, you know, I like Megadeth. I mean, <laughs> That's not good. So what's changed in her life for the better as far as coming to Christ and, and becoming a new creature in Christ? 
She's done it since she was in her teens, and she's bragging about it. Unbelievable. Listen to what she says here. I was in my late teens. I, you know, I like Megadeth. I mean, it turns out the lead singer is a Christian. Well, I guess that's a good thing, right? Dave Mustaine, the lead singer of Megadeth. Write that band name down. We're going to come back to that. Turns out he's a Christian, huh? Well, let's, let's do what 1 John 4, 1 says and test the spirits to see if they are from God. Megadeth. And I like, uh, you know, a lot of bands. Some of them I've stopped listening to because of the overt satanic message. But The overt, not the moderate, or even the regular, or even kind of. Just, you know, when it gets to the level of overtly satanic, that's, that's when I draw the line. Just not going to have that, because that is when it really becomes offensive to God, and I don't like that. Is that what we're hearing? You know, I don't get freaked out because I listen to music. It's like, you know, I love music that edifies the Lord. No, you don't. I love listening to music that edifies him and lifts him up. But also, if in my car, I'm not going to go, oh, ACDC's on the radio. I'm going to hell if I don't turn on the channel. See how stupid, what an absolute barbaric sausage witch. Look how she deflects. Look at the acting, which certainly would advocate uh, the truth of her working in Hollywood. Look how she mocks and deflects. Oh, it's ACDC. I'm going to go to hell. Unbelievable. This is acting. This is false doctrine. And this is her issuing license. So now she named two bands that she has put on her acceptable list of listening to. And that's Megadeth and ACDC. Confirm me. You can listen to this. She did it. Let's go see what she considers acceptable. All right. Number one on the list, Megadeth. Let's take a look at uh, Renee's approved list of listening choices here. Uh, here's some nice wallpaper from Megadeth of demons tearing a man apart from limb to limb. You can see the bone of the man as these demons apparently gnaw. That's, that's acceptable. Here's the cover of one of their albums called Countdown to Extinction. A very, look familiar at all, at least they're trying to as they mock Jesus, kind of levitating above in a prison cell, loincloth so on and so forth, as though Jesus was in some prison somewhere and his act of salvation wasn't successful. Clearly, you can see that's what it is. This is on Rene Rowland's approval. All right, this may get a little monotonous, but stay with me. It's important to see. This is what Rene Rowland has approved for your listening pleasure. Here's a song by Megadeth called Looking Down the Cross. You can go through these lyrics. Uh, Was summoned here tonight. I recall my perils. They kill me in pride. No, I can't run away. There's no place to hide. Um, hatred and guilt. The altar they've built. High priests of the sun. Down the walkways. The blood stained from looking, and looking down the cross. Bleeding from the crown. Right? Just, just fun family stuff. Approved. All wonderful. Go through these wonderful, wholesome lyrics. No harm. No help now as you fulfill his task. Chief of evil has got you by the A. Uh, Saint free or set free uh, to shake the throne. Just a dream. You're weeping all alone. Looking down the cross. Speak no evil. I'm looking down the cross. Lovely. Very lovely. All right, next on the list of snappy little foot tappers, here's one called Bad Omen. Let's read together. Down fell the stars as they splashed into the sea. Me nominate Baphomet. <laughs> My name is Baphomet. Come dance with me. Sacrifice the virgin, spiritual rice. Their master's time has come. The moon is full tonight. Drinking, dancing, they worship and toast the devil who's watching with demons remote, fire rising, racing in your blood, possessed, naive, his service is done, bloody blasphemy, sinister is the word, and the demons take their fill, and orgies taking place. No, no good wholesome song would never be complete without a good old-fashioned orgy. But again, there's nothing wrong with it. 
Oh, human blood will spill, an act of worship as they conceive the ghouls. Satan has their souls. They sing pagan tunes. The ceremony is sure to be cursed. They ask for his blessings, but down comes the worst, right? Their bodies soulless, corpse from the grave. Their minds are helpless and no one can save. There you go. That's a Rene Roland recommendation. Now, here's a little gem called Five Magics. Let's read it together. Bestow upon me knowledge, wizard, all-knowing, all-wise. I want to rule this kingdom, make sweet the breeze now defiled, dethrone the evil prince's iron fists in the velvet gloves of sin, parade the gray-robed monks, the vestal virgins, wheel in the wyverns in. Let the ceremony consecrate the marriage. Let me be the protege of five magics. Lovely. Give me alchemy, give me wizardry, give me sorcery, thermatology, electricity, magic, if you please. Master all of these, bring him to his knees. He masters the five magics. Possessed with hellish torment. Very lovely. Now, one thing that you'll notice about this song is that you'd almost have to agree with Renee that this is not overtly satanic. So it does say, uh, does fall into the family-friendly form of moderate Satanism. And, of course, approved by Jesus according to Renee's doctrine. So, way to go, Renee. Now, let's wrap up uh, Megadeth with uh, an oldie but a goodie, Good Morning Black Friday. Read with me. Good morning. Hey, I don't feel so good. Something's not right. Something's coming over me. What the F is this? Killer intruder, homicidal man. If you see me coming, run as fast as you can. A bloodthirsty demon who's stalking the street. I hack up my victims like pieces of meat. That's that's just lovely. Bloodthirsty demon, sinister fiend, bludgeonous slaughter, my evil deeds. My hammer's a cold piece of blood. Oh, good grief. I, I really can't go any further. This is pure evil. But only in these end times will you see alleged Christian teachers saying that this is okay and acceptable. Quite extraordinary. Now, of course, I'm sure the majority of you are familiar with ACDC, uh, but just for purposes of documentation, let's go through the obvious, because again, this appears on Christian teacher Renee Rowland's list of recommended and okay music to listen to. Let's start with Highway to Hell. And forgive me if the ads pop up here. I'm on another website. But live it easy, love and free, season ticket on a one-way ride, asking nothing, leave me be, taking everything in my stride, don't need a reason, a rhyme, ain't nothing uh, that I'd rather do. Going down party time, my friends are going to be there too. I'm on the highway to hell, highway to hell, highway to hell. Of course, ACDC downplaying eternal torment, uh, even to the point of it's going to be a big party, right? This is the antithesis of Christianity, the opposite of Christianity. This is pure Satanism. No stop signs, speed limit. Nobody's going to slow me down, uh, especially that, that pesky Jesus and his word. Um, nobody's going to mess me around. Hey, Satan, paying my dues, playing in a rockin' band. Hey, mama, look at me. I'm on my way to the promised land. Mockery of, of scripture's promised land. I'm on the highway to hell, so on and so forth. And uh, again, uh, just a foot stomping, finger snapping little ditty that will surely get you closer to Jesus, right? Going through the song titles is always fun, too, uh, because... Um, that's also good, wholesome stuff. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Uh, problem childs. Here's a, here's a good one. Rock and roll damnation. So always love you. Again, according to Renee's own logic, it's okay to let it in. Just don't feed the fear, but let it in. Don't feed the fear. It's okay, everybody. Uh, back in black. Here's a doozy. Just a wonderful, I like to put this one on and get the family gathered, uh, get some hot chocolate and uh, a fire, you know, sitting by the fireside. 
I'm rolling thunder, pouring rain. I'm coming on like a hurricane. My lightning's flashing across the sky. You're only young, but you're going to die. I won't take no prisoners, won't spare no lives. This is actually true. Nobody's putting up a fight. I find this just ironic of ironic, uh, thanks to people like Renee Rowland. I've got my bell. I'm going to take you to hell. I'm going to get you. Satan get you. Hell's bells. Just, again, wonderful. Welcome to the end times. Um, those hell bells, uh, those hell's bells, temperatures rising. Going to split the nights. Just lovely. Going to get you, Satan get you. And, you know, you get in the picture. I could go through certainly more of this garbage. Um, but it proves my point. This is what's happening in the end time. You have uh, Christian teachers uh, telling you that, hey, don't worry, it's not overtly satanic. It's moderately, it's okay, uh, moderate Satanism. It's on the approval list. I, I hereby issue you license, saith Rene Roland, that this is okay to listen to. Incredible. Now, we're going to make our list here. Um, here I've titled, What We've Learned About Rene Roland's Teachings Today. And, of course, I know a lot of you followers of Rene are going to get mad at me and say, it's not true. You took her out of context. But I think uh, we were pretty straightforward here in uh, showing you by her own words what she said. So let's make a list. So number one, Satanism, when used in moderation, is acceptable to Jesus Christ. I think that's fair, a fair analysis. Number two, substituting words in scripture is taught. Always helpful, right? Uh, appreciate that, Renee. And of course, number three, never, ever, ever teach sinners to turn from their sins. It doesn't matter what Jesus, John the Baptist, the disciples, and the Apostle Paul taught. Renee says don't do it. It just doesn't work for some reason. So, Number four, it's okay to let evil in. Just don't feed it. In this particular case, talking about fear, if you're thinking that I'm taking this out of context, well, by her own words, she's encouraging you to listen to actual satanic music. So would you consider that letting evil in? I would, definitely. Number five, in matters of spiritual confusion, or I guess you could say questions, just go with your gut. Good sound advice, you know, feelings, uh, I think the majority of the time, feelings overrule facts or even that of Holy Scripture, right? Does that make sense? No, no, it doesn't, does it? Number six, by her own words, Renee has been a metalhead since her teen years and still is. There's been no change there. Maybe with the exception, by her own words, that she's cut out the overtly satanic metal bands, which constitutes, I, I, I mean, actually, I, I'm not even sure how you can draw that line. So, again, nonsensical. Number seven, she says she doesn't advocate sin while absolutely advocating sin. It is word salad. It is amazing, an amazing talent she has. And number eight, we learned that bleach will not erase repulsive images from the eyes. So please uh, don't even try that. But Rene Roland is to be avoided at all costs. And I'm going to share you some scripture with you in just a second. She is uh, of a talent where when the Bible says one thing, she'll come out and teach the absolute opposite of it while telling you she's not teaching the absolute opposite of scripture. And people just lap it up. They believe it. One of the best deceivers I've seen in the end times. And, uh, but um, I'm not sure where this will all go, but definitely worth uh, refuting. She is horrible. I, I really do believe she's an actual Satanist. And uh, she'll, of course, deny it. And she'll laugh and she'll, you know, cast it off. But um, you've seen the fruit. You've seen the actual fruit. She is, I think she even has a video where she says, well, fruit doesn't mean anything. So, I mean, this is, this is what they do. It's, it's really up to you. If you think that it's okay to listen to actual satanic music, which glorifies and praises Satan, then have at it. 
have at it. I, I pray that somebody has seen this video and, and they're snapping out of their spell that Renee has put you under. Because under no circumstance in the history of anything that resembles logic or common sense, do you think or will you be allowed into heaven with this unholy practice of thinking you can worship Satan and God? Again, referring to the scriptures I showed you at the beginning, what fellowship hath darkness with light? In Ephesians 6, verse 12, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Renee's message, eh, don't wrestle. doesn't matter. Jesus did it all on the cross so we can live how we want. By the way, she has no comprehension, nor does she even have the right to speak of Jesus, for she does not know him. But here, we don't even, don't even need to wrestle against the flesh and blood. Just, just do what your conscience says. Just go with your gut. No, don't worry about fighting. There's no wrestling match. And by the way, what's below that? Uh, take unto you the whole armor of God. Nope. No, no. It doesn't matter. You know, Jesus did it all. We don't have to fight. Just enjoy your sin. Enjoy your moderately satanic music. And, you know, if it feels all right, then don't let your conscience condemn you. It's all according to your faith, which is perfect in line because she doesn't teach faith. She teaches feelings and a false doctrine, and she's a butcher. So, absolutely. Let me finish up with this scripture. All right, so in the book of Titus, first chapter, read with me. When This is talking about a bishop, but certainly applicable. Holding fast the faithful word. So right there, Renee fails. Go with your gut. As he, interesting, hath been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine. Sound doctrine found where? Not in your gut. Both to exhort and convince the gainsayers. This is the followers. For there are uh, uh, many unruly, vain talkers and deceivers, especially if they have the circumcisions, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, The Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, and slow bellies. I would go so far as to call Rene Rowan a Cretan. Absolutely. Uh, certainly an evil beast. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in faith. I don't know if Renee will ever repent. I certainly would pray for her. Uh, and again, this has nothing to do with sin. This has to do with doctrine. She's teaching a, I can't even call it a false doctrine. It's, it's completely filled with witchcraft and Satanism. Not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men uh, that turn from the truth. Under the pure, all things are pure, but under them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. This is true. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him. And this is ironic because uh, if you even speak the word works in front of Renee, it's common knowledge that she will screech and run away. Uh, they deny him being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work. Reprobate. Absolute perfect description of Rene Roland. All right, so I'm going to wrap up this video. I thought this would be a good visual image for you um, to see. I, I, this is what I think of Rene Roland's alleged, loose, loosely called teachings. She, she is a scripture grinder, like a meat grinder. She is... Uh, outright biblically illiterate and, and i think that's i would definitely say that's by choice she doesn't care and it's it's sad because for for those of you that will like myself will pray for renee roland that uh, the sad part is that there is a savior which who she does not know jesus christ who um, offers her salvation offers her deliverance and a life of peace uh, to get rid of the old person, to get rid of the satanic music and the uh, movies and so on and so forth, and, and to come live in the spirit unto Christ. And uh, sadly, she's doing everything she can do to avoid that and then teach others to do the same. This is not open for discussion. This is a fact. Her fruit proves it. Issuing license to listen to satanic music 
under no circumstance uh, can you find anything like that in Holy Scripture as acceptable. It, it's an oxymoron. It's ridiculous. Um, so that's about all I can say about this. We'll wrap it up right now. Uh, for those of you that love Jesus Christ in truth and sober-mindedness and sincerity, God bless you. And uh, stay away from the bleach. We'll talk to you soon.